Welcome back from the break, Rams. And now the NBA regular season has come to a close, and I would say the Denver Nuggets met their lofty 2022-23 expectations, entering the playoffs as the one seed out of the West. But that's not the only Denver team absolutely dominating. In the NHL, the Colorado Avalanche are fighting for the top spot in the Western Conference, which is three games left. Needless to say, Ball Arena has been the place to be during the winter. And with the playoffs looming, it's time for us to reflect on each team. Will the NBA Finals come to Denver? Can the Avs win a second straight cup? Of course, both can happen, but our first hot or not question is, who has a better chance of winning it all, the Nuggets or the Avalanche? I personally did say the Nuggets for this yeah. one. I think their defense can take it all the way. Yeah. I mean, I think that they got they got a really good team over there in, at the Nuggets, but I, you know, I think I think the Avalanche have a better chance this year, and it's honestly not because of who the Nuggets are. It's because of who else is in the West <laughs> and that I think will beat the Nuggets on their trip to the finals. No, I mean, that's a really good point. You got the Grizzlies. The Warriors always kill us, I feel like, almost every single year. But they, we got to root for something. They have had a yeah, run true. like no other. The Avalanche have had players out, like McKinnon, and they've lost time this year, you know, not being healthy. But we have had Murray, Jokic, and MPJ healthy pretty much all year. And that, to me, says a lot. I mean, you are healthy for sure, but I just think there are teams that when they're all put together are better. You saw a team like the Phoenix Suns who never really got to play good games against the Nuggets, so I think they're a team that could definitely take them down as well. But they have so much depth. Like, they have KCP, Reggie Jackson. Like, they have so many people on their team that can assist in that way, too. I just don't think those bench players are all that. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I, I think Jokic <laughs> is definitely the performer he is. Yeah. Don't think he's going to win a third. But it's MVP. all of the team. I, They're second in the league with assists. They're second place in three-point oh yeah, shooting. The stats don't lie. They're I, first I, place in their field goal percentage. Like, uh -huh. I think that, yeah, like, obviously Joker is a powerhouse, but yeah. he has the team to back him up and support that regardless. I, I, I agree he has a team. There's just better teams to me <laughs> in the West. I, but then why did they get the number one seed? And have proven it. All year. Regular <laughs> season is always kind of just a thing that's kind of a throw up. You get to the playoffs, and that's where you see the real teams come alive. I think they're going to get a title with Jokic, and I think this is going to be the year. Yeah. I mean, everyone is healthy as of right now. They kind of had a weird stretch at the end. Like, they lost to the Jazz the other day, but, you yeah. know, that's like right before going and into the playoffs. They weren't playing nervous. On the players. Yes, very nervous. <laughs> they're nervous. You know, I don't know. With the Avs, there's, I don't know. They're, it's so hard to win two back to back Stanley Cups. Look, you're right. I don't know. But I think <laughs> if, we're, if we're asking me one or the other, we're saying Nuggets or Avalanche, I'm going to choose the Avalanche simply because the Nuggets aren't going to win the NBA Finals. Mm. We'll see. I guess we're going to have to see, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> and Fans okay, <laughs> unlike hockey and basketball, another major sports league began play just a little over a week ago. The MLB season is underway with so many changes. That's right, Mike. Whether it's the pitch clock, shift restrictions, or larger bases, baseball feels slightly different in 2023. And with the sport declining in popularity, it seems that these adjustments have given life to America's national pastime once again. So, do we agree? Our next question is just that. Is baseball being saved by the recent rule changes? And I definitely do think it is. I mean, I think the rule changes are great. I think it definitely speeds up the game. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to agree there. I agree, too. I think I've seen some things that a lot of opening day viewership has been up, like, yeah. dra like dramatic. Like, yeah. we have 10% increase in Fox, 11% ESPN. That's huge. Yeah. People actually tuning in and watching on the first Especially day. Especially in the regular season. Like yes. You, all, you always see the crowds turn out for the playoffs. But yes. seeing people right. really start and watch these regular season games mm -hmm. definitely sees, like, an uptick in baseball. Yeah, when we get to October, like, that's when people yeah. actually start yeah. caring. <laughs> like the from, from day one, yeah. that matters a lot. And I think, yeah, like you said, with the time being sped up, it's going from like over three hours to like two hours and 40 minutes. Yeah. Definitely. It's huge. And you see it like every play. Like it's definitely yes. noticeable every play. It's going faster. Yes. And I don't know. I think players are having enjoying it more. There's definitely. a lot more stolen bases. Yeah. Pitchers are probably upset because you kind of have to have that rhythm yeah. when you're yes. on the mound. I'm not really sure about the bigger bases. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not really sure the reasoning <laughs> really for that. I and guess how that, like, safety. I don't them. fully get that either. I think it is a safety I thing. I mean, it's now. easier to hit the base now, I guess. It's a yeah. Bigger, it's a bigger target. It's a bigger target. <laughs> Still more stolen bases. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, we, there were some ridiculous shifts last year. Yeah. There, I, I saw a play the other day where a guy bunted to third because nobody was there <laughs> and got a double last year. Like, you yeah. just can't see that anymore. So, cracking down on the shifts is definitely a good thing. I think so. Because, I mean, that just kind of takes, you know, 
a lot of things out of it. So yeah. I'm glad that they're you know playing more traditionally in that yeah. sense. But then now it's it's quicker. It feels I think more organized when you don't see those plays. It's yes. like more action and less time, which yes. is keeps viewer attention a lot easier. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> people actually are more more. Because you can sit there and the whole pitch count before the season. You could sit there and the whole pitch count and go minutes. Yes, And Definitely. you'd just be sitting there waiting, but now we get them every 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. And so, I, I, at first I didn't know how to feel. Yeah. I was like, they're trying to change it, but the numbers are showing and people are watching. Yeah, so. and you see other sports too. Oh, Shot yeah. clocks, play clocks in football, like it's everywhere. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, definitely. Now we just gotta see if the Rockies are gonna take it to their advantage. <laughs> <laughs> we can hope. <laughs> we, can, we can always hope. <laughs> So with that, Rams, that is all the sports action we have for you tonight. But the fun doesn't end here because in tomorrow's Ramboozled episode, we'll have three CSU athletes compete against one another, plus a guest appearance from our friend Ruby Kayser. Who's the more spo sports savvy of all of them? You'll find out tomorrow starting at 7. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Have a great night, and we'll see you then.